Let's speak to Dr. Edward Maitland-Ball, who is a, um, a hair replacement surgeon specialist working out of Portsmouth. Edward, hello. Good morning. Good morning, Sasha. Good morning. Good to have you on the programme. Um, so I, I, I don't know whether you sort of see these potential cures popping up all the time and you sort of treat yeah. them with a pinch of salt. But this one, to me at least, seems to be a little bit different. What do you think? That's a very good point. There are lots of um, reports of new breakthroughs, and it's it's very encouraging, of course, and we love hearing about them. But but we do have to be cautious because um, this is a very early stage that we're seeing this this new development. It is one of many things that are, are out there that are that are coming to light. But yeah, it's exciting. I mean, it, it's definitely shown promise. It's it's very early stages because it's still lab. Uh, results of, of trials rather than in humans and there are lots of tests and studies that need to be done to check that it's going to be safe importantly and effective when when actually used in humans. But one of the nice things about when it's a drug that's already used for something else is that a lot of those hoops I guess as to how safe it could be a lot of those hoops have already been jumped through. Absolutely. And we don't know how many people are going to want to be on a tablet for hair loss. So osteoporosis is a condition that, that has serious uh, complications and uh, hair loss is a, is a serious issue for lots of people. But a lot of my patients come to me for hair transplants because they don't want to be on medication. They don't like the idea of taking a, a tablet every day. Um, it's, it's a condition that affects them massively. Self-confidence and, and self-esteem is, is hugely affected by hair loss in, in some people. And so it's lovely to have treatments that we can offer, but very often they don't want to be taking a tablet every day. They would rather have a, a permanent fix, which is where um, the surgery fits in. Yeah, no, I can totally understand that. Um, for those, though, at the moment who are taking drugs, am I right in thinking that there are two ones that are available at the moment? So this will be a yeah. potential third? That's right. I mean, we're, we're really lucky because we have got brilliant medication for treating hair loss. There's a tablet called finasteride and there's a, uh, a minoxidil, which is something you rub onto the scalp. And it's not for everybody. As I say, not everyone wants to take a tablet. Not everyone wants the, the faff of having to rub something on the skin every day. But they actually do work really, really well in the vast majority of people. But as with all things, it, 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 it doesn't suit everybody. And sometimes people will have side effects. And so we always counsel people on these uh, issues. And the majority of my patients take these medications because they want to stop their hair loss. It, it's a complicated problem, hair loss, because it's, it's dynamic and it's ongoing, and therefore you need to try and control it if you're going to consider to have something like surgery. So this new breakthrough tablet uh, treatment may well be something else we add to that collection of treatments we have at our, uh, at our disposal, um, but it's not going to, I don't think, change the, 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 the hair loss world. I think it's going to be something we add, and it's another option. And all these things are great. It's great to have more options for our patients. Mm. Um, when you look at this particular story and where it is on the BBC website and when it comes up on various internet searches and it is coming up as one of the most read at the moment which I think <clears throat> just sort of shows the amount of interest and the absolute effect that, that this particular con condition can have on so many people Absolutely, it's, it's, a, it's a huge problem for people um, a lot of people don't realise that there are options out there to help them so I think it's exciting that these things are being talked about because people often just suffer in silence and, and I see patients every day, male and female who are hugely distraught by their hair loss and equally I see people who are just a little bit bothered by it and they decide to do something because they can and then they're so surprised at the huge impact it has on them to treat something that has just been niggling them and it's not vanity, it's, it's often you know, a real problem for these people that affects the way they lead their lives and and it's, it's it's such a pleasure to be able to take that problem away from them um, and yeah so it's lovely that this is bringing this to to the uh, public's attention and so people are learning that there are real genuine options out there for treating hair loss the most important thing is though that people are careful and and go about this safely and do their research because there are a lot of people promising things offering surgery uh, with 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 false marketing and, and and promises that that just aren't true and patients unfortunately more and more at the moment are making bad decisions decisions and getting treatments done that leave them looking way worse than they were before and it's it's a permanent scarring they're left with if they make a bad decision so it's really important people don't rush into these things that they do their research and seek a reputable trustworthy clinic to go to
Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, Edward, thank you. Perfect advice. And thank you for talking to us as well, because I know you have literally just finished surgery this morning. So uh, I'm still going, so I'm going to pop still back going. in. <laughs> right. Oh, my goodness. Well, I, I hope your patient is doing all right. <laughs> He's very happy. He's having a cup of tea. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, well, we much appreciate it. Please thank him for us, for allowing you to come and talk to us. Dr. Oh, Edward Maitland-Ball in Portsmouth, uh, just taking a moment out of surgery this morning. He's a hair replacement surgeon talking about this, uh, what they are calling a potential cure for baldness. Is this is something that affects you and is actually something that yes it does challenge you it, it it is something that it's not really or maybe it is a bit of a to some people it's a bit of a joke and actually it's not a joke